Can you please? There we go. I'm not certain how much longer I'm gonna have to do this. Holy shit. Did, did the shield break? Why is he not holding a shield? What happened with my shield? Come on, demoralize him. Shit. Really? Oh, intimidate check succeeded. Perfect. There we fucking go! He's finally dead. Please don't tell me there's more shit up here. <laughs> After dealing with that, how could th how could there be? Unlike the time-worn watchtower, the statue of Torag is in perfect condition. The dwarven god's face has a stern look, almost accusatory when combined with the surrounding devastation. Oh. Your intuition tells you this statue may be hiding something of value. After several hours of searching, you discover a hidden panel with a niche above it. Uh... I failed the perception check? What is my perception? Plus three, not very high. Right here, my friend. I do have other characters with high perception, however, so I'm gonna come back with one of those. Oh, shit. This is super weird. So suddenly troll hounds and or a troll hound and a bunch of wolves decide to square off. Why? You see three peasants circling ancient, an ancient oak as they talk loudly among themselves. I found it! What? Where? Show us! Nay, wasn't nothing. Just thought I did, damned stump. The man hits the trunk of the tree with his fist then winces and massages his hand. Well, put your backs into it! I can smell the gold, I can! Who are you? What is happening here? The men jump up and press their backs against the massive oak trunk. 
They never take their eyes off you as they lean toward each other, whispering. They barely catch the words Baron and Treasure. Or you barely catch the words Baron and Treasure. We're from the village nearby, my lord. The bravest of them answers, er, the bravest of them answers, and the others nod along. We want to cut this here tree, see? Winter's not far off, you know. We're gonna need some wood, the second man adds. And with this much, we could maybe build a boat, too. Cut it out, he heard us, the third one mutters. So much for our gold. You're not in trouble, just tell me everything. The villager glances at his sullen companions. We're searching for gold here, my lord. A traveling bard spent the night in our village, told us tales about big fights and barbarians and the chieftains who led their hordes here long ago. At the end, he said he knew where the barbarians, barbarian chieftains buried promised, or where the barbarian chieftains buried, promised he would show us. Fucking shit, I suck. We paid him two gold, he wanted three, but we could only gather two. He told us anyway, though. Barbarians, you say? If I remember their customs correctly... Oh, I can't remember anything... useful. Maybe there's some enchantment beneath the tree. The old oak bears no enchantment, but this does not exclude the possibility that the treasure is there. It may simply be hidden too deep, or perhaps the treasure isn't magical in nature. Why aren't you worrying about wandering around these lands? It can be dangerous here. We've lived here all our lives, my lord. Got nothing to be scared of. If we met a kobold, we hit him hard. If we met a wolf, we climbed the tree. And if a troll comes around, we run as fast as we can. As for bandits, we're not afraid of them. They don't cross us because we don't have two coins to scrape together. I'll help you dig the gold up. We'll share the treasure. The villager smiles broadly. Welcome, my lord. The work will go faster. As for the gold, we dig more... We dig more for fun than money, anyhow. If you're digging for fun, the Baron can have your share instead. After several hours of digging and chopping, the ancient tree finally yields. The oak creaks indignantly as it's uprooted and falls. Aw. Oh. Kinda of feel bad about uprooting this tree. I'm gonna reload, cause I don't want that to happen. There has to be more to this watchtower, though. Ah, yes. This. Damn it. Ah. Uh. I don't want them to dig this tree up. Trees are cool. There we go. No stopping now. <laughs> oh, my throat. That hurt a lot. To the verdant chambers.
There's no one in the nymph's chambers. Maybe she'll show if the Baron comes alone, as she asked. Oh, right, yeah. She wanted me to come alone. I forgot that. Rest. Rest, my brethren. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs>